America, it's time to wake up. If you don't have some of this or some of this, you're going to be in trouble. And I'm going to tell you why right now. One stacker on a journey to find silver. International stacker. What's up, guys? International Stacker here, and I'm here to tell you um, tell you why we're in trouble. But first, I want to say welcome to my channel. If you're new, please smash that red button here and subscribe. Like 68%, 70% of people who watch my videos aren't. Check me out, and please uh, smash that like and help me beat the YouTube algorithm. And a very big thank you to this video sponsor, Kalinex. Kalinex out of Canada, an amazing mining company. Thank you for sponsoring this video. Their information is in the description below. Today, I'm going to tell you why I believe we have a true crisis in this nation. We have a crisis in America. We've printed our money base, and I shouldn't even say money. I should say currency because money is what I showed you in the intro, gold and silver. But we've printed our currency base into oblivion but we're all told it's fine. Americans are getting their stimulus checks and they're spending it on hopefully gold and silver, but for the most part, I bet, I bet not. I know if any of you uh, got your stimulus, that's what you spent it on or hopefully something to protect it with. I truly believe that gold and silver, and when I say gold and silver, I'm talking physical, listen to this. What I showed you in the intro, physical gold and silver is going to be the secret to protecting you and your family. It's going to help you get your wealth or your buying power through to the other side. And it's going to help you to fight the invisible tax. I like to call inflation. Families and small businesses are struggling and have struggled month after month, especially during the beer flu. And I can't even say that real name because YouTube will still censor me. So please smash the like and help me to break the censorship, the censorship machine. They've been desperate for assistance and you know, they've gotten some government assistance, some not many people had their dreams shattered businesses. They worked their entire lives to shut down. And if not shut down, burned to the ground in some parts of the U S at the same time, the ultra wealthy has benefited greatly and are getting even richer. Look at this right here, folks. This is the usdebtclock.org. Continually, our U.S. national debt is increasing. And I, I believe this will never be paid off. And I believe it's foolish to pay it off. I believe the plan is what I'm going to talk about here in a second, which is the Great Reset. But first, this is the U.S. debt clock. It shows the U.S. debt running up exponentially. It shows the population, shows the income. And this actually shows um, how much each America is going to be or each American is going to be responsible for in terms of pain. But here's something cool. Look, dollar to crypto <laughs> ratio. That's kind of cool. Paper to gold ratio, uh, paper to silver ratio. And this even has on here um, dollar to silver with the way our money's been printed since since it's been printed. One ounce of silver would be equivalent to five thousand uh, two hundred and eighty or two hundred and eight dollars. And for gold, where's gold at? Look at gold, thirty-seven one forty-eight per ounce. What does that really mean? Have you ever heard your grandfather, or if you're up there in age, your parents say, "I used to buy things for twenty-five cents. I used to be able to buy things for a dollar." Well, that's true, except. It was worth a lot more back then. The same reason why if you go on atmex.com or Provident Metals or any of the big um, bullion companies, if you want to buy a, a dollar face value of some people call it junk silver, some call it 90% silver, some call it constitutional. Anytime 1964 and, below, and before, our coins were 90% silver. So even right now, if you get a dollar from 1964 and before, it's worth 21, 22, 23 dollars a dollar. So when they were telling you in the 60s and 50s they could do something crazy for 25 cents, 
really 25 cents back then money and nowadays money is like six dollars so keep that in mind this is how much the dollar used to be worth and look how it's been eroded away with the invisible tax called inflation and this only goes to 2019 if this went to 2021 it would be even more dramatic remember the weimar republic in germany after world war ii look throughout history zimbabwe venezuela Look back in uh, some of the earlier civilizations to make coinage out of gold and silver. Greece, the Roman Empire, etc. They all had something in common. They all debased their currency, printed it into oblivion, and you know what came next. The Great Reset. This is literally on the World Economic Forum. If I would have posted about the Great uh, Reset even five, six months ago, I would have been laughed away and censored like it was some sort of word I don't even dare saying because the YouTube algorithm will pick it up. So please smash a like and support creators like me and others to fight against that censorship. Nations cannot print their way to prosperity. They cannot, but we can stack and we can trade and we can put ourselves in better situations so we can actually benefit. Although the masses might not be aware of what's going on, we know. As the government relentlessly adds to global money supply of U.S. dollars. Think about that. They're literally printing into oblivion. Literally sending money around the world for all crazy things. And it's not even money, it's currency. But yeah, real quick, World Economic Forum. This is an urgent need for global stakeholders to cooperate in simultaneously managing the direct consequences of the blank crisis. To improve the state of the world, the World Economic Forum is starting the Great Recess and Reset Initiative. Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? Look at this. So, like, people are going crazy. So, here's 2008. There's 2008. Look at this. Look at this hockey stick. COVID or the, the beer flu started here. Look where we're at now. Are you kidding me? Folks, do you think we can just sit here? You know what's interesting else with this hockey stick? Is that retail traders cashed in in March on the paper markets in terms of gold and silver with gold, I think it broke over 2000. Silver, uh, I think it hit 30. And folks in the physical market were even more affected. So whatever the paper market is, that's the base floor. But if you go try to buy gold or silver right now, let me clink it. Listen to this. Wait, here's more again. If you're to try to go to buy gold or silver right now, hear that? Not only are you going to pay a premium, you're going to be lucky to find it. It is hard to find gold and silver right now. There's opportunities out there. I believe the number one way to prepare yourselves and your family is to stack physical gold and silver. And I should say I'm not a financial advisor. Please see my disclaimer in the description below. All your choices are yours and yours alone. Gold, silver, emergency food, emergency water, at least a month of each. And a way to protect yourselves and your family. Also an emergency fund, paying down your bills, etc. Now, if you've done all that, I think there are other opportunities that are true investments. Many stackers don't really look at gold and silver like investments. We look at it as a hedge against inflation and a way to protect your buying power. But there are investments. So if I think gold and silver is really going to go crazy, what else is tied to that industry that could go crazy? I think there are other opportunities out there. You know me, I'm not huge in the markets. I don't, um, in all transparency, I really don't own any mining stocks yet. I plan to, which is why I'm on this epic uh, search to find, you know, what I think is the ultimate company uh, to invest in. But mining stocks, if we think gold and silver is going to go crazy and we're moving into a digital age where silver, the best conductor of electricity is going to be needed, copper, big in uh, electric vehicles, big in infrastructure, if they're talking about a trillion dollar infrastructure plan, okay? Here's what I can tell you. The retail traders literally cashed up in March. Gold, it hit, what, it broke 2,000? Nearly 2,060 for its all-time high? Silver, like, it hit over 30? And you guys, silver's been to 50 twice in the past. 
And the last, first time silver was in 50, if you adjust for inflation, it's well over 100. It was worth like 150 bucks. I want to take a quick second to shout out the sponsor of this video, Kalinex Mines Inc. And let's see where this ranks in terms of the mine companies I've been reviewing. I can tell you this, I literally talked to the president and CEO of this company. Super, super cool and down to earth guy, Max. Hey Max, if you're watching, really nice meeting you. He actually invited me up to the mine. Would you guys like to do some on-site videos of these mines? I think so. But here's what I'll tell you, the thing I like about this company, and this is what I really look at when I'm looking in, in these different companies, it has massive insider ownership. And this is a scenario where insider is not a bad word. Um, insider ownership so shows that they have skin in the game. It shows that they own the company, especially, especially with smaller uh, cap companies. Um, you know, this is really owned between the management, their friends, their families, their associates. It's over 30% that's owned by that group of folks, which means they, their friends and family believe in it and they're going to do what it takes to make it successful. I can also sh tell you that your shares have just like recently blown up, uh, up over six, 700%. Another thing I like about them. So that shows there's movement, there's interest. Uh, they literally have no debt, super tight structure, and they recently raised over $8.8 .8 in funding. And they've literally, and let me scroll down here. I like this shot here. Um, it reminds me of uh, Gold Rush. Maybe if I go visit this mine, I'll go visit Parker Schnabel. What do you guys think? Um, but if you check it out, look how old school's company, 1927. 1927. So look at all these different accomplishments they've had. In 2018, was this their last accomplishment? No, they've had a, like a legit mega one I'm about to talk about in a second, but I just really want a quick one to show you the team. So good leadership is key, but honestly, what good is leadership if you don't have the subject matter expertise? The thing I really like about their geologist over 40 years of experience, uh, this gentleman here over 25 years of experience, these are literally award winning um geologist so good leadership is key financial responsibility but the folks who are going to lead you to the discoveries and they recently just had a major major silver discovery just a few months ago and really they've got two projects uh they're working now here we go the first one i want to talk about is manitoba manitoba um so manitoba this is a large deposit. It has copper, zinc, silver, and gold. So many of you have probably heard that silver is usually comes out of mines that produce copper or gold. It's like a byproduct. Um, and I like that. I don't like mines that are just gold, just silver, just this, just that. If you think about it, the more metals you have, the higher chance you have the company doing well, right? So this is a huge copper deposit, zinc, silver, and gold. And the infrastructure is in place um, for this area, ready to go. They literally have a hydroelectric dam. So it's like literally the cleanest copper you could like absolutely think about. Um, so it's pretty cool. And the last discovery in this area was 1993. So this does not happen all the time, right? Uh, you've got to be like the first to discover and the first to get in the weeds and start mining to really be successful. So I like that. Also, New Brunswick is super exciting. So normally, so when they're checking deposits for these types of, uh, of discoveries, they do what's called like drill intersections. So if any of you watch another Canadian show I love, The Curse of Oak Island, these guys are constantly drilling cross sections of the island to try to find treasure or proof of a mine shaft, you know, to find the, the vault, the treasure vault. Will they find it? I don't know, but I hope they do. Huh. Um, but anyways, drill intersections, right? So usually around the world, when you drill, you'll find copper like a half to 1%, you know, globally uh, in, in these different types of intersections. Some of these puppies have been up to 8%, up over 8%. And then it's, the average is 5%. So that's like 10 times, 10x the normal copper. So this is legit a high grade copper discovery. Why does that excite me? China, China, the biggest consumer of copper right now electric vehicles are big you guys 2022 in california the rule is you have to have solar panels for new houses that's going to be huge for silver huge for other metals again the infrastructure bill that's coming with the current administration the need whether you like the current administration or not i'm not here to discuss that 
I'm here to discuss opportunities. So I like that. Um, I like that silver and copper and well, gold kind of, but silver and copper really are going to be extremely needed in the future, heavy in these types of industries. So that excites me. Also too, um, what's important is zinc. Zinc is also important for the electric uh, car uh, uh, industry. And yes, you heard it, Manitoba, they've got some zinc. But the last thing I want to talk about before I show you this really cool graph here, uh, what, they're literally saving the town. This town was going away uh, where this, this uh, discovery is in New Brunswick. It was going to be gone. Bye-bye town. Everyone's sad leaving. Where there is urgency, there is urgency to act, which causes massive political pressure. Massive pressure. So I like those odds. I like the odds that the townspeople are going to be behind it. The leadership are going to be behind it. Um, the local representatives are going to be behind it. Why? Because it's literally going to save a town. In a time right like these days with the pan, and I can't even say the whole word because I'm going to get censored, and then Dimmick, there you go. Um, we need people to keep their jobs. We need people to work. We need people to produce. Um, otherwise, what are we even doing? And guys, I just wanted to mention I'm not a financial advisor. I'm just some guy on the internet traveling the world finding gold and silver. So be sure to see the disclaimer in the description below. So really cool in their presentation. This shows how um, you'll have uh, deposits. Uh, deposits uh, in the um, ocean. So this shows how the salt water gets sucked up, comes in, the thingy erupts, the stuff, the hot stuff comes up, the magma, bang, copper, silver, zinc, gold. Super cool. I just kind of liked this uh, a graph I thought I would show you. And real quick, I want to take a look at a couple of their charts. Uh, you can see here this chart here. So let's go here. Okay. So this is the one day, man, I should have bought here. Dang it. So it's like here, five. So over the six months they've been building up. Let's look back a little further. And you guys, you can just go to Google and literally put in any ticker and find it. it's pretty cool. Five years, max. So in the past previous high back in 2011 was about six bucks. It had this kind of downtrend here. And now it's starting to pop back up, probably on that good news with these two new discoveries. So super cool. Let's go here. Oh, yeah, look, you can see some volume there. Let's see here. Let's go to this one day. Yeah, here's the volume on that little dip they had there. So anyways, what do you guys think? I mean, I've reviewed several companies. Oh, and I want to show you this. This is the historical price of copper. We're near all time high. 458. 434 is this going to blow by and break out is it going to blow by and break out wow look at that volume anyways i don't know what do you guys think what's your personal opinions um what do you guys think about this uh mining company and most importantly do you want me to go and visit that's the most important thing. Should I go visit this company? I'm always looking for opportunities to multiply. I believe gold, physical gold, physical silver is your foundation. It's your house. It's what you want to make sure you're good on. And once you're somewhat comfortable there, look for other opportunities to multiply. Again, thank you all for watching. Please subscribe to my channel if you haven't. I've literally got videos in the African markets, Middle East markets, all across Europe, buying silver in Ireland. So please check out my channel. I think you're going to like it, including getting attacked by pirates in the Nile. Are you kidding me? Um, I think you're going to like it. So thank you for watching. Thank you for joining me. Smash that like button. I guess I'll say, look, I messed this all up. <laughs> I guess I'll say, look at this crab beating this piece of gold. Are you kidding me? Catch you on the next one. Yeah.